So what I'd like to do in this video is show you how to set up your access to SAP Business One On Demand from my SAP Business One On Demand cloud demo server and access it on your iPad. So I'm going to take you through the process of first of all uh, accessing a piece of software from the Apple App Store that you're going to need to access SAP Business One On Demand and then we're going to go through the process of setting it up. So let's just quickly dive into the App Store. So I'll just quickly scroll across here to my App Store. And then if you go into the App Store, the particular application that you're going to be looking for, and I'll just go and do a search, it's actually called Desktop Connect. So this is the application here. It's called Desktop Connect. Let me just quickly show you that. And it is the application that we put on the, uh, on the iPad to enable us to access the demo cloud server, which uses RDP as the protocol for the connectivity between the, uh, the iPad and the demo server. Now, this application costs around about 14 or 15 US dollars. Uh, again, the price varies from country to country, but I recommend this application as being the best one to use. Uh, there are other RDP applications out there that are cheaper, some of them are free, but in my experience, this application gives you the best results and the best experience of using SAP Business One on demand from your iPad. So you'll need to go ahead and purchase that and then you'll need to install it. So once you've done that, we'll come back to the application. Okay, so now you've got the application installed and you can see um, here it is here on my iPad. So I'm going to go in, I'm going to choose desktop and the application will open up. Now I actually have a couple of sessions already configured here. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to come in here and choose add computer and you're going to tell it that it is an RDP computer. And once you've got that, then you'll give it a name and you can call it anything you like. Uh, in my instance, I'm going to call it SAP Business One On Demand. And then you're going to need to give it the uh, credentials. So the host name that you're going to need to select, it's exactly the same as the one that you use when you're accessing SAP Business One On Demand from your laptop. So it is sbots.sapbusiness1cloud.net. And that's all you need to put in there. Then we'll go and we'll choose back. Then I recommend you go and put in your authentication. So you'll put in your username so this is the username that you have to access SAP Business One on the cloud. So it's usually your I or D number or C number if you have one. And if you're a partner watching this session, uh, then you just put in the username that I gave you when I created your cloud demo account. But in this case, I'm going to put my details in here. And then you're going to put the, your domain. And the domain you need to put there is SBO Cloud because that's the domain that all the user accounts belong to on the, on the cloud demo server. And then I'd recommend you put in your password as well so you don't have to put it in each time when you log on to SAP Business One On Demand. It will just take you straight in and then the single sign-on will kick in and it will allow you to uh, just go straight into the system. So I'm going to put in my password and I'm just going to remove this part of it from the uh, from the recording. So now you've got your password put in there you just choose back and that's done. Uh, there's really nothing much else you need to do at this point. You, let's get rid of the keyboard so you can see all the other options but basically now all you want to do is choose save 
and you'll now see you have a new option over on the side which is SAP Business One On Demand and then you'll quickly and easily access the system just by clicking on the button here that says connect. Alright, so I have configured your, if you requested access to SAP Business One On Demand for your iPad, I will have configured your account so it will take you straight in. And then basically what will happen is when you access your SAP Business One On Demand, in this case I'm going to go and choose this account that I've set up called Sapphire Demo because my account, uh, I've got two different accounts set up and it's the Sapphire Demo account that I use when I want to use the Business One On Demand on the iPad. I just choose Connect and you'll see what will happen. The system starts up and it takes you straight into SAP Business One On Demand and then you can choose your company and you're into SAP Business One On Demand. Now part of the reason why I recommend this particular application to access Business One On Demand on your iPad is because it's very very easy to use you can um, grow and shrink the screen just by using your pinch uh, gesture that you're familiar with on your iPad you can uh, quickly and easily pop up the keyboard by using the keyboard button just up there on the top which makes it easy for you to navigate your way around and also the beauty of this is if you do have uh, an external monitor connected into your iPad as you expand and shrink down your iPad screen it doesn't actually do the same thing on the external screen so um, you can for example if you find it a little bit difficult to move the mouse around alright but it's usually pretty good you can grow the screen and then slide the screen around and then you can access your functionality a little bit easier a little bit more accurately and you can see as I move around there how easy that is and then you can pinch it back down again if you want to show somebody what's on the screen then when you finished very very simple you want to make sure don't just go up and click the the close function up the top here you want to make sure you close out of business one correctly so you either click on the X in the top right hand corner or go across here and choose file exit that will exit your session uh, gracefully of course if you do disconnect or if you lose your connection and you reconnect within 10 minutes it will just bring you straight back into where you were uh, but that's basically it that's how you get access to SAP Business One on demand on your iPad thanks